Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. My guest today is one of the newest members of the New England Patriots and the first wide receiver Bill Belichick has ever drafted in the first round during his tenure with the Patriots. Nikhil Harry, it is good to meet you. Um, congratulations for playing for my favorite team. <laughs> I'm really excited to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, How has it been so far? I've looked at your Instagram last night to just kind of see what you're up to, and mm -hmm. you've got a lot of pictures of you already in Patriots gear. How's it been? It's been great, you know, just being able to, to say I'm in the NFL, actually be in a locker room and, you know, put the gear on, it means a lot to me. It's been great so far. Was that kind of a crazy moment when you put on the jersey for the first time? Yeah, especially when they, they revealed the jersey to me um, the first day I got there. I was kind of just looking at it for a second and I was kind of just thinking back on everything it took to get there. So we were, I used to live in Boston, so we were back there a little bit ago talking about the Boston weather, which is pretty harsh, I'm not gonna lie to you, like get your coat, your truck ready. Also, the New England fans, there are some intense people and mm -hmm. they really know what they're talking about. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I am. You know, I know New England fans hold the Patriots to a very high standard. You've heard. Um, they're very critical. So, you know, that's <laughs> something I've got to be ready for. I've got to be headstrong, but I'm prepared for it. Are people warning you about this? Yeah, most definitely. Really? Most definitely. Who's warning you? Um, you know, just a lot of the, the other players, a lot of the people in the PR building. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where, um, like I said, you're held to a high standard. Yes. And you're going to be critiqued a lot. So, um, especially playing with a fan base like that, you have to be very headstrong and very mentally prepared for that. But they'll also love you. Right. Well, like, definitely. as hard as they are on you, they will love you, too, if you do well. Exactly. If you do well. Which I've seen so far. Good. Oh, they love you already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, so far, it's been all love, so. Is it true that you almost missed Bill Belichick's call on draft day? Yeah, draft day, uh, we were actually in the mountains um, in Scottsdale, and the call just would not go through. It kept dropping. And, you know, I was nervous. The first thing I'm thinking is, okay, are they going to go on to the next guy? Are they going to draft somebody else? Oh, so you knew that they were going to call you? No, I, I saw my phone ring. Okay. And then when I answered the phone, um, it just wouldn't go through. Like, it was real staticky, and then it would just drop, call would drop. And then they called back, same thing happened. And then I started looking around, um, trying to find anybody that has service. And then one of my agents went out in the backyard, got some service, <laughs> and then... Finally got it right. Bill's like, uh, come on, buddy. You got to get some service on your phone on draft <laughs> right, day. Exactly. I mean, isn't that the first thing that you do when you're, you know, figuring out your draft party? Make sure your phone works. Yeah, we 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 have booked the house, but we didn't think we would have connection problems. Yeah. That went along with you it. You did. Yeah. Interesting. So how'd that call go? Um, it was good. There wasn't too emotion. There wasn't too much emotion in, in Coach Belichick's voice. No, um, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but but you know it was it was great. Everybody around me um, has started to get excited. Once my phone rang and they heard me talking, they kind of knew what was happening. So it was a great moment. Did you have a feeling you would go to the Patriots? Did you know? No idea. Really? I had no clue. I really was not expecting to go to the Patriots. Huh. Um, honestly, I was thinking I would either go to the Seahawks or um, I was thinking the Ravens, the Raiders. So the Patriots, I was not expecting. Why not? Um, you know, just because, I don't know. Especially, like, dra the draft day was, was, was kind of weird, uh, real nerve-wracking. And then once they got to pick 32, um, we were watching the TV, and I heard the announcers talking about wide receivers and how they don't traditionally go wide receiver and how Bill has never picked a wide receiver. So I was like, it's over. Let me just get ready for day two. And then they called. And then the call came in, so. How'd you celebrate? How'd I celebrate? Um, we had a little dance off in the backyard. <laughs> okay. After I didn't get to participate in it too much because I was doing a lot of phone calls, a lot of media and stuff. Mm. Um, but my whole family was having a ball. Um, I didn't do too much on draft night. It was just so late. Um, I was tired, so I ended up just going to sleep. Draft night wasn't the, wasn't the most entertaining night. <laughs> Who was the first person from the Patriots that reached out to you, besides Bill? Um, I think it was Tom. Really? Yeah. He tweeted, he tweeted the next day, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Tom. What did he tweet to you? Um, I think he said, he just said something along the lines of, it's great to have you, let's get to work, something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said. Okay, so he tweeted. Mm -hmm. Who was the first person to, like, text or call you? Christian Sam. And what'd he say? Um, get ready. You know, when, <laughs> I, when I took my, when I took my visit, because I took a top 30 visit yeah. to New England, and he told me, 
if you come here, just, just be ready. Just be focused, because it's, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, New England, like, it, they have been to three straight Super Bowls, mm -hmm. so they win. But it's also notoriously, it's a tough place to play right. for you, and the weather, too. For you, when you heard, okay, I'm going to the Patriots, what was your initial reaction? Um, at first, I was extremely excited. I was just excited to get drafted. Uh -huh. And then I was like, okay, I'm on the Patriots. Um, Tom's going to be my quarterback. Um, so I was just really thinking how hard it was going to be, especially because I had talked to Christian a few times throughout the course of his rookie season, and he was letting me know how hard it is, um, especially being a rookie in the NFL is hard regardless whether you're on the Patriots or any other team. Um, but being a rookie on the Patriots is a whole different level. All right, so Tom was the first guy that tweeted to you. And like, has it sunk in yet that you are literally going to be catching passes from maybe the best quarterback <laughs> of all time? Yeah, yeah, it's sunk in at this point. Um, you know, it really is a blessing. It really is a blessing. Um, for me, it's kind of crazy because I don't know football without Tom. Huh, um, that's so true. Yeah. Yes. He's been playing almost as long as I've been living, so. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. So you're a fan of his? Yeah, most definitely. Most wow. Definitely. Madden just released their rookie ratings. You know what yours is, right? I do. What is it? Uh, 74. How you feel about that? Um, I'm okay with it, honestly. Yeah? I'm, I'm just excited to be on Madden. Once I get the, <laughs> once I get the game anyway, I'm going to change my rating to what I feel like it's going to be, so. <laughs> that is a pretty cool thing yeah. that now you're on Madden. Right. That's awesome. Okay, when we come back, more with Patriots rookie wide receiver Nikhil Harry. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game on FS1, to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.